Hello and welcome to lecture 5 of this basic barista course. Today we will discuss the topic of temperature brewing, where we will discuss the brewing process, and the role of temperature, in the brewing process, so let's get started. What exactly does brewing coffee mean? Brewing coffee is the process of extracting, the soluble material from roasted and ground coffee. As this coffee is brewed in hot water, hundreds of unique compounds are extracted, from the ground beans, creating brewed coffee. Effects of temperature in brewing The brew temperature is widely mentioned, as one of the most important factors, influencing the final coffee quality, with a temperature of about 93 degrees Celsius, being considered ideal. A minimum brew temperature of 92 degrees Celsius, must be reached within a certain amount of time, for drip brewers to pass certification. Factors affecting quality The type of coffee being used in the brewing process will affect the quality and flavor of the coffee. The following are factors to consider in the selection of coffee flavors. The texture of the grind. The type of roast. The variety of bean. The country and region of origin. Brewing procedure. As the brewing temperature rises, coffee extraction should do increase. Brewing is essentially the process of thermal degradation, as heat breaks down compounds. Coffee is brewed with hot water, with the ideal range being between 190 and 205 degrees. Brewing at room temperature. It takes more time to brew coffee at room temperature. To maximize the ability to extract solubles from the coffee grinds, the brew period should be extended to 8 hours. Coffee brewed hot or cold typically has a different chemical makeup. Recommended brewing temperature The standard recommended temperature range for AeroPress contest recipes is, about, between 175 and 180 degrees. Coffee that has been brewed at about 180 degrees usually has a smooth and pleasant flavor. Brewing temperatures to avoid The 200 degree brew usually results in a bitter taste. Stay tuned, I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any queries, do some googling or contact me on my email id.